Maybe George is a bit too little to play the accordion. Daddy, what other instruments are in the box? Just this horn. Can I try? You have to blow it very hard. <laughs> that does not sound right. It's impossible. I think I used to be able to play it. <laughs> that really does not sound right. <laughs> Maybe it just needs someone big and strong like me. <sighs> That does not sound right either. <sighs> Peppa's right. It is impossible to play. Never mind, Daddy Pig. Just stick to the accordion. You play it beautifully. <laughs> well, I do play it quite nicely, even if I say so myself. And I'll play my violin. And I will play my drum. Mummy Pig plays the violin. Daddy Pig plays the accordion. Pepper plays the drum. But what instrument will George play? <laughs> George is blowing the horn. Mummy couldn't play the horn. And Daddy couldn't play it. And even I couldn't play it. <laughs> but George can play it. <laughs> Sick pets get better. Oh, is this the sad little fish that won't eat? Yes. Watch this. Goldie has eaten the food. Oh, she didn't eat at home. Maybe Goldie was bored at home. The interesting journey has cheered her up. Oh. You have a very healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr. Hamster. Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are going home on the bus. Mr. Bull is going home with his bended tuba. It's as good as new! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle and her friends are going home with their shopping. I see Goldie the fish is happy again. Yes. It was the bus ride that made her better. The fish in the bowl swims round and round, round and round, round and round. The fish in the bowl swims round and round all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, where have you been? We took Goldie to the vet and now she's better. <coughs> oh dear, Goldie has a cough. <coughs> I think we should take Goldie to the vet again tomorrow. I can drive you in the car. No, Daddy. We want to go on the bus. It's fun. OK. We'll go on the bus. <laughs> Everyone loves going on the bus, especially Goldie the fish. There is an easier way to make a cop. First, we roll the clay into a long worm like this. It's a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. I'm made of clay. What shall I make today? I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> we wrap it round and round like this. It's a bit bumpy. Now I smooth it out with my hands. And I add a handle. <laughs> it's a cup. Now we have two cups. Yes, but a tea set needs more than two cups. We'll all make cups. 
Yes! <laughs> dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. George always makes dinosaurs. Oh, what a scary dinosaur. <laughs> now we need to bake the tea set in a kiln. A kiln is an oven that cooks the clay and makes it hard. The tea set should be ready. Hooray! Now we paint them. <laughs> the children are painting the tea set. Lovely bright colours. The tea set is finished. Now we can have our tea party. There's a cup for everyone. Oh, we forgot to make a teapot. I know. George's dinosaur can be the teapot. Yes. Let's fill it with water. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best tea set in the world. Everybody knows that all the finest tea sets have a dinosaur in them. Teapot! <laughs> <laughs> This is rosemary. I like to use it in my cooking. Hmm, it smells interesting. <coughs> this is mint. Oh, that smells very minty. <coughs> and this is lavender. Oh, that smells like Granny Pig's perfume. Wow! That's a strong smell of lavender. Ah, Granny Pig, you smell nice. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Granny, Granny, smell this. <laughs> what is it? It's my perfume. Oh, yes. It's lovely. Has George made some perfume too? No, Granny. He doesn't like the smell of Anything. There must be something you like the smell of. <laughs> George has found a muddy puddle. <laughs> <laughs> ah, George, what have you got there? Have you made some perfume? <laughs> Actually, that smells quite nice. It smells lovely. <sighs> I say, that is delightful. What did you put in it, George? <laughs> George's perfume is made out of muddy puddles. <sighs> ah! Perfumed a muddy puddle. Whee! <laughs> 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 Granny Pig, you smell even nicer than you did before. Yes. You should use perfume de muddy puddle more often. <laughs> I am the queen. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Hello, Mrs. Queen. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing a crown? I don't wear it much because it's very heavy. Are you the boss of all the world? Not quite. Do you tell people what to do? Sometimes. Can you make teachers disappear? Oh, so many questions. The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm excited to meet all of you. And now for Miss Rabbit's medal. Ooh. This is the Queen's Award for Industry. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Three cheers for Miss Rabbit. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now for the party. To the garden. You've got a lovely big garden, Your Majesty. Do you play in it all the time? I don't have much time for playing, no. That's sad. Oh, dear. A muddy puddle. Never mind, we can walk around it. You can't walk around a muddy puddle. No? No. You have to jump in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. That does look fun. Here one goes, then. Stop! <gasps> if you jump 
in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots, Your Majesty. Oh dear, the Queen is not wearing her boots. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> the Queen loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Skills. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are in one team, the boys are in the other. That's not fair. We've got little ones on our team. Don't worry, the boys' team will still win. Yeah, we're a super team. <whistles> ah. Emily Elephant is very good at reaching high with her trunk. Emily's using her trunk. It's not there. Shush, Peppa. She's on our side. Oh, yes, that is fair. <coughs> it's not fair. We want Emily on our team. No, she's in our team. Stop arguing. You can all be in the same team. OK. <laughs> the children are all in one big team. Oh, but who will we play? Um, well... Hello. <laughs> The parents have come to take the children home. I know. You can play the grown-ups. But they are bigger than us. Ah, but you've been taught basketball by Daddy Coach. Yes. Let's play them. We're the children's team. Yay! We're the grown-ups team. All, All right. right! I'm quite good at cricket. Yes. Well, this is basketball. You throw the ball through the hoop. But you can only use your hands. Or your trunk. But not your feet. Ready, steady, go! Mr Elephant has the ball. Tackled by George. Pass to Zoe Zebra. To Richard Rabbit. And Pepper throws it through the hoop. Yippee! The children have won. Thanks to Daddy Coach. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Nay! Let's race to Peppa's house. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Press this button and it just disappears. Ooh! Oh! oh. And if you push this button, you can play CDs. <laughs> the friends have all finished together. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> but we've only got one cup. My van has a winner's cup for everyone. Hooray! Mr Fox, is there anything you don't? Have in your van. Try me. Have you got a banjo? Four or five string. <laughs> you won't have a tree in your van. <laughs> Apple or pear? I bet you haven't got a rocket in there. Boxes of five. What about a chicken? One chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Mr Fox's van is magic. It's a super van. Yes, it is. Come on, Freddy. We'd better get home. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Have you got a bouncy castle? Yep. A garden shed? Yep. I've got everything. <laughs> oh, I've got no petrol. Mr Fox has everything in his van except petrol. Hmm, I need to get to the petrol station. I would tow you, but I haven't got a tow rope. Oh, I've got plenty of them. I do them in packs of five. Can we come along? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Daddy Pig is towing Mr Fox's van to the petrol station. <laughs> the oh, oh, I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. <laughs> Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Mm, it's a bit muddy. 
Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Breakdown recovery! I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello? Fire service? I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that's stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa! I'm flying! Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Hooray! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! yes! It can go straight up. Whoa! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even loop the loop. Whoa! Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. <laughs> You forgot to close the door. Polly will have flown away. Don't worry, Peppa. I'm sure Polly is still inside. Polly's not here. Oh. <coughs> We've lost Polly. Grandpa and Granny are going to be very sad. Maybe we should try the garden. Look, what's that? What has Mummy Pig seen in the garden? It's Polly! Hooray! Ah. But, Daddy, how are we going to get Polly down from the tree? Ah. Don't worry, Peppa. I'll rescue Polly. Come on, Polly. Ah. Would you like a cup of tea? Ah. Oh, no. Polly has flown higher up the tree. Oh, dear. Be careful, Daddy. Don't fall out of the tree like you always do. Don't worry, Peppa. I'll be very careful. Come on, Polly. Ah, bad seed! I wonder where George is going. George has got Polly's bird seed. Polly loves to eat bird seed. Ah. Ah. <laughs> George has got Polly down from the tree. Hooray! Hooray. What's that noise? Daddy Pig's mobile phone is ringing. What? Whoop. Hello? Oh, Granny Pig. Hello, Daddy Pig. Please, may I talk to Polly? Yes, of course. Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? Ah! Hello, Polly. Are you having a nice holiday? <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <sighs> <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy. Your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. 
Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Pepper. Don't splash us with water, Daddy. I told you I wouldn't splash. <laughs> Clever, Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Yeah. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Helicopter rescue service! Miss Rabbit, please come to our rescue! It's very important! Come quickly! I'm on my way! All the children have brought their pumpkin lanterns to playgroup. Welcome to the pumpkin competition! If everyone is here, we will get started. Peppa isn't here! Oh, where is she? Miss Rabbit's rescue helicopter has arrived at Grandpa's greenhouse. So, who needs rescuing? My pumpkin! We have to get it to the playgroup in time for the competition. OK. Hop aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the playgroup. I think we will have to start without Pepper. Aw, it won't be fun without Pepper. The prize for the best pumpkin grown from seed goes to Susie Sheep. That's me. This is fun. <laughs> the prize for the best pumpkin bought from a supermarket goes to Pedro Pony. That's me. Nay. <laughs> the prize for the best plastic pumpkin goes to... What's that noise? Look! What's that? There's a light in the sky. Ooh. <laughs> it's a flying pumpkin. It's Peppa's pumpkin. Wow! Hello! Sorry we're late. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Am I in time for the pumpkin competition? Yes, of course. The prize for the best flying pumpkin goes to Peppa Pig. Hooray! <laughs> this is the best Halloween ever! <laughs> Peppa loves Halloween. Everyone loves Halloween. Up that path. Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy! Ho, ho! I'll get there first. Bye! I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes, everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous! It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. Like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that bush. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on. We'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull! <laughs> Daddy is a blackberry bush. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look, there's something glittering. They're coins. When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. Oh, oh, that's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs>
Pedro Pony is playing on the roundabout. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pedro. We've got a desert island with houses and roads, shops, trees and a lake. But we need water for the lake. Have you got some, please? I don't know what you're talking about. It's just pretend. We're playing a game. Oh, I see. You want pretend water. Yes. Hmm, I know where there's pretend snow. We can melt it to get pretend water. Where? On the mountain top. That's a slide. It's a pretend mountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's the matter, Pedro? Because it is a hot day, the snow has melted. Can't we pretend it hasn't melted? No, it's melted good and proper. Oh. oh. But look, over there, real water. Daddy Pig is drinking from the water fountain. Water! <laughs> Daddy, can we have some water in our bucket, please? We're making a lake. Oh, oh. Of course. <laughs> We've got water. Nice water. It is Freddy Fox. Hello, everyone. What's this? It's a desert island. We are going to live here forever. If only it had a flag. I've got a flag in my van if you'd like it. Mr Fox has got everything in his van. Uh, we only need a pretend one, Mr Fox. OK. How about these? Thank you, Mr Fox. <laughs> <laughs> now our desert island is perfect. We will live here forever. Again! <laughs> <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. I know what's wrong with Polly. She's seasick. Oh! Get Polly to dry land. The sooner the better. There's an island! There we go. Better Polly? Ah! Uh, better Polly? Hooray! Polly is not a sick parrot anymore. Oh, another emergency. Hello? Hello? Daddy Pig here. Daddy Pig is in his office. There are some ducklings stuck on our roof. I'll be right there. Thank goodness you're here. Stand aside. Dr Hamster here. Mrs Duck laid her eggs on our roof. And now the ducklings have hatched. Who can make a quacking noise? Me! I'm very good at quacking. Pepper, start quacking and the ducklings will follow you. Quack, quack, quack. <coughs> quack, quack, quack. <coughs> Lead them to the duck pond, please, Pepper. OK. I'm Mummy Duck. Quack, quack. The ducklings are back with their mummy and daddy. All because of me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Is it another emergency? Yes, it's Mr Hamster. I'm late for my tea. Bye. Bye-bye, Dr Hamster. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. It's all in a day's work for the flying vet. <laughs> we'll be finished tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow, Mr. Bull. Bye bye. Bye. George put the sticky mud down, and I put the brick on top. Mm. That all sounds very exciting. Now, close your eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> It is morning. Pepper and George cannot wait to see the new house. It's finished! <laughs> Almost finished. It just needs to be inspected. 
Mr. Rabbit is the building inspector. Hmm. Very good. But wait, it's not finished. What? You forgot the swing. Moo! Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bull. Now it's all ready for our new neighbours to move in. Neighbours? Yes, Pepper. We've got new neighbours. <coughs> Mr. Wolf and his family are moving into their new home. Oh, look. Little piggies. Hello, I'm Wendy Wolf. I'm Peppa Pig. Thank you for building our house, Mr. Pig. What's it made of? Straw? Sticks? It's made of bricks. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll... Hmm, that is strong. What's your own house made of, Mr. Pig? Bricks. So don't even think about it. Oh, a swing. That was my idea. It's very good. You have a go. Can you push me? No. I'll huff and puff you instead. <laughs> Everyone crosses the pretend river safely. My little explorers! What's next, Grumpy Rabbit? Your next adventure is to swing across this swamp full of crocodiles. Ah! I can't see any crocodiles. You've got to pretend. Let those crocodiles know who's boss. Go away, you naughty crocodiles. That's the spirit! Did you ever swing across a crocodile swamp? Of course I did. Were you scared? Not as scared as they were of me. <laughs> Ready? Don't forget to do the call. Ah! Everyone has crossed the pretend crocodile swamp safely. Well done! What's our next adventure? This is a vault. Big athletes jump over it like this. But you can pretend it's a dinosaur and crawl through its legs. Have you crawled through a dinosaur's legs, Grampy Rabbit? Oh, yes. Once I was walking in the jungle when I stumbled into a lost world of dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it! You've made it out of the jungle! Hooray! Aho! Uh -huh. Did you have a good gym class, children? Yes, Madam Gazelle. They're real little explorers now. We walked across a river. And we swung over crocodiles. And we crawled under a dinosaur. I love doing gym class with Grumpy Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, the last present must be for... Me! I got Santa for a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Oh, Birdseed. Birdseed. That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes and everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No, the label says for Susie Sheep. Then Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good piggy, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Ah! Uh. 
Hello. He came down our chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> My doll. Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm. Yummy. And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. Ooh. She's not a dinosaur. This is Lulu, the lizard. Hello, Lulu. She's scaly, like a dragon. Can she breathe fire? No, but she has a very long tongue. Wow. Does she sleep through the winter, like Tiddles? No. Oh, where is Tiddles? Tiddles? Oh, dear. Tiddles the tortoise has run away. Don't worry, Dr. Hamster. We'll find Tiddles. Is he in the music room? Tiddles is not in the music room. Is he in the playhouse? Tiddles is not in the playhouse. Is he hiding by the coats? Tiddles is not hiding by the coats. <laughs> I can smell Tiddles this way. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. There's Tiddles! Tiddles is up a tree. Oh, I better call for help. This is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Ah! Fire! Fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? My Tiddles is up a tree. What? Again? Emergency! Emergency! Tortoise up a tree! I don't know why you like climbing trees so much. You're a tortoise. Stand back. Tiddles. Come on, Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. And my job is looking after pets. Where are Binky and Lulu? No, I don't know. Oh, here they are, safe and sound. <laughs> <laughs> and there's lovely corn to eat. Come on, this way home. Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. Here you are, chickens. Eat up. Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh. It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> Have the chickens laid their eggs yet, Granny? Maybe in the morning, Peppa. How will we know when it's morning? Neville will tell us. Now, go to sleep. Night, night. <laughs> It is morning. It's Neville! <laughs> Thank you for waking us up, Neville. <laughs> Cock -a -doo -dee -doo. <laughs> Good morning, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Do you have any eggs for us? One, two, three, four! Four eggs, Granny! Now we'll have eggs for breakfast. Thank you, Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Boiled eggs for everyone. Hooray! Mmm, delicious. <coughs> Granny, your chickens make yummy eggs. Yes, it's all that lovely corn they eat. And my lettuces. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we set up Delphine's bed? Mummy, Mummy! 
Can Delphine sleep in my bed with a pillow at each end? Good idea, Pepper. Pepper and Delphine are sleeping at each end of the same bed. <laughs> <laughs> now, children, try to go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Delphine is visiting your playgroup. Wow. Dormez bien. Dormez bien is French for sleep well. I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's sing a little song to make us sleepy. Yes! <coughs> oh. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonnez les matines. Delphine's pretty French song has sent everyone to sleep. Ding, dang, dong. Delphine has come to visit Peppa's playgroup. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, this is my French friend, Delphine Donkey. Bonjour. Ah, bonjour, Delphine. Delphine sang a pretty French song last night. Can we teach her an English song? How about the Bing Bong song? Yes, sing me this Bing Bong song. It would be good for my English. OK. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, boo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo! Bong, bing, boo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo! Good. I have learned lots of new English words. Bing, bong, bingly, bangly, boo! <laughs> <laughs> he gave us horrible medicine. Madam Gazelle, can you sing your song now? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> Miss Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> 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 oh, dear. All the grown-ups have caught Pedro's cough. Dr Brown Bear speaking. This is Peppa Pig. <coughs> All the grown-ups are ill. Not to worry, Peppa. I'm on my way. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Caught Pedro's cough, have we? <coughs> <coughs> Very well. Stand in line and open wide. Ew. 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 It tastes like custard and old socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after us, Dr Brown Bear. Who looks after you when you're ill? No one looks after me. I'm never ill. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Dr Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough. Not to worry. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye! Poor Dr. Brown Bear. He's ill and there's no one to look after him. Oh! <coughs> <coughs> Who can that be? Hello! We've come to look after you. Here's some fruit. <laughs> and some cushions. And here is your medicine. Yeah, it tastes like jammy yogurt flavored custard socks. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a song to make you feel better. Ooh. Oh, I'm not sure. Please, Please Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the Bing Bong song. All right. Ooh. We're playing a tune. We're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, woo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo! Bong, bing, woo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Now, children, time for bed. <laughs> Good night, children. Good night, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are in their sleeping bags. <laughs> I've got a torch. Me too. <laughs> Attention, children.
drin. No more giggling, please. What was that funny noise? I don't know. There it is again. <coughs> Susie, where are you going? Madam Gazelle! <coughs> I'm a bit scared. Oh, would you like to come in? Yes, please. <coughs> Madam Gazelle! <coughs> I think I'm a bit scared too. Can I come in, please? Of course. <coughs> I think I might be scared later. I might be scared later too. And me! Come in, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have the bing bong song, please? All right. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Mr. Dinosaur wants you to play too. <laughs> Dinosaur. George has missed Cuckoo again. <laughs> Never mind, George. Why don't you play in the garden? I'll call you when it's time to see Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> to you, George. <laughs> It is nearly 11 o'clock. Peppa! <laughs> George! Time to see Cuckoo! Quick, George! You can't miss Cuckoo again. George is running faster than he has ever run before. <laughs> George, did you see Cuckoo? Cuckoo! Cuckoo! <laughs> Cuckoo! Peppa and George love playing Cuckoos. It is night time. Pepper and George are very sleepy. Cuckoo. Pepper and George are asleep. Is it morning already? Uh, no, time to sleep. Cuckoo is not very well. She just needs to sleep, like you and George. Good night. Good night, my little piggies. George, I know how to make Cuckoo better. We'll wind her up like Daddy did. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy are fast asleep. What? what? Mummy, Daddy, we've got something to show you. We've made Cuckoo better. Stop! <laughs> 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 George, how to say ah? Of course. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hmm. George has caught a cold. Does George need medicine? No, but he can have some nice warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Doctor Brown Bear. You're welcome. Goodbye. <laughs> George has been in bed all day. Now it is Peppa's bedtime. George, are you better? Achoo! George is not better. Achoo! George, please don't sneeze so loudly. <coughs> <sighs> this is impossible. George, here's some nice warm milk to help you sleep. <laughs> the warm milk makes George feel very, very sleepy. Good night, my little piggies. Ah, it's so nice and quiet. It is morning. George has slept very well. <laughs> George is better. <laughs> Come on, everyone. It's a lovely sunny day. George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat. Why? Because it's hot and sunny. Why? 
George, can you stop saying why all the time? Why? <laughs> <laughs> George certainly is better. <laughs> 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 OK, that's enough brushing. Into your beds. Oh, I think our teeth need a bit more cleaning. When you're in bed, Daddy Pig will read you a story. <laughs> Pepper and George like stories. When Pepper goes to bed, she always has her teddy tucked up with her. When George goes to bed, he always has Mr Dinosaur tucked up with him. Are you feeling sleepy now? No, Daddy. We need lots and lots of stories. Daddy Pig will read you one story. Now, which book do you want? Um, the Red Monkey book. <laughs> OK, I'll read you the Red Monkey book. Peppa and George like the Red Monkey book. Once upon a time... <sighs> oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. And this red monkey had a bath. And cleaned his teeth. He got into his bed. And soon he fell fast asleep. Good night, red monkey. Pepper and George are asleep. Good night, Pepper and George. Sleep well. <sighs> <sighs> Now Peppa and George are asleep, <sighs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going to watch some television. And now it's time for the amazing Mr. Potato. I've been looking forward to watching this program. The amazing Mr. Potato is always ready for action. He runs fast. He jumps high. He never sleeps. <sighs> it is bedtime for Peppa and George. And it looks as if it is bedtime for Mummy and Daddy, too. What do we have here? Dinosaur! That's right! It's a dinosaur book. It's George's pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, this is a Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this is a Triceratops. Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> well done, George. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Daddy, George, you've stopped tidying up. You'll lose the race. <laughs> oh, yes, the race. Come on, George, put this back on the bookshelf. <laughs> Daddy, you're very slow at tidying up. Mummy and I are going to win. No, we're going to win. <laughs> 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 how tidy the room is. Hooray! What a tidy room. <laughs> well done, everyone. <laughs> Mummy, now that we've tidied our room, can we play dollies and dinosaurs again? Yes. You can carry on with your game now. Yippee! Where are my dolls? Where is Mr Dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> is untidy again. Oh. Oh. Well, at least it was tidy for a bit. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe the dinosaur wasn't quite that fierce, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Sorry, George. No, the dinosaur was very gentle. It ate lots of grass. Daddy Pig! Oh, sorry. I was being the dinosaur. 
<laughs> Daddy, why is the princess called the Sleepy Princess? I'm coming to that. You see, the sun set, then the stars and moon came out, and everyone got very sleepy. But the most sleepy of all was the sleepy princess. Peppa, are you sleepy? No, Daddy. I am not sleepy at all. But somebody is. George, wake up. You'll miss the end of the story. Well, Peppa might not be sleepy, but the sleepy princess certainly was. Looking at herself all day in the mirror had completely worn her out. <sighs> Let's carry you to bed. Good night. The sleepy princess was so sleepy, she had fallen fast asleep. Thank you for that story, King Daddy. You're welcome, Queen Mummy. And our little prince and princess enjoyed it too. George! <laughs> Peppa and Susie love playing doctors and nurses. So does George. Peppa listens to George's chest. Now, George, take a big breath in, then cough. <gasps> hmm, I think your heart's a bit loose. I'll put a plaster on it. <laughs> Open wide, please. Susie takes George's temperature. Oh dear, you're very, very hot. I think you have to stay in bed for three years. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to find George. Oh no, what's wrong with George? Don't worry, Daddy, it's only a game. George is our patient. Oh, I see. Can the patient have a visitor? Just for a little while. He might get tired. Cookies! Yes, they're for George. They're his medicine to make him feel better. <laughs> um, excuse me, Doctor. Can you help me? I have a sore tummy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> I can hear it rumbling. I think you're hungry, Daddy. <laughs> then I think I need lots of cookies to make me better. <laughs> <laughs> and me. And me. And me. <laughs> 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 Daddy will get the kite down. Hooray! Uh, yes. <laughs> Careful! There's a big muddy puddle. Pepper and George love to jump in muddy puddles. Can we jump in the puddle? Please? <laughs> no, I don't want you covered in mud. Oh. Stand back, children. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. Please be careful. <laughs> Just a bit further, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you are much too heavy for that branch. Nonsense! I know exactly how heavy I am. There. Hooray! Daddy Pig has rescued the kite. Whoa! Oh dear. Everyone is covered in mud. <laughs> it's only mud. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Daddy Pig hasn't hurt himself. And the kite is out of the tree. Hooray! <laughs> 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 Mummy, 
Mummy, now that we're all muddy, can we jump in the puddle? <laughs> I suppose so. After all, you can't get any muddier. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Daddy Pig is going to be doing the washing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles is just as much fun as flying the kite. Hello, can I help you? Moo! In a china shop! Hello, Miss Rabbit. I have broken my china teapot. Oh dear. Can you fix it? Let's have a look. Hmm, that's very broken. I smashed it to bits. Yes, but I think I can fix it. Oh, goody. Can we help? <coughs> of course, Peppa. <laughs> oh, these two pieces fit together. Fixing the teapot is a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Well done, Peppa. I'll glue those bits together. <laughs> George has also found two pieces that fit. Well done, George. <laughs> Nearly finished. That's the lid. There's just this funny shaped bit left. Where does that go? <laughs> That's the teapot's handle, Miss Rabbit. Oh, so it is. I don't know much about china teapots. It's as good as new! Be careful not to smash it again. Ho oh, ho! I am very good at smashing things! <gasps> oh. <gasps> well done, Pepper. Thank you for mending my teapot, Miss Rabbit. No trouble, Mr. Bull. Phew! Look, boss! A pothole! There is a small hole in the road. And it's right outside Miss Rabbit's shop. What do you think, lads? Can we have a hole outside Miss Rabbit's shop? No! You fix my teapot, I'll fix your road. Uh, it's not my road. Mr Bull, how are you going to mend the hole? We'll dig up the road! Mr. Bull is digging up the road. <laughs> Mr. Bull likes digging up the road. Everybody likes digging up the road. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. It's going to bang into the bridge. <gasps> the bridge is lifting up. Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK! <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Open-top buses are the best. <laughs> Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. <laughs> Let's stop Trafalgar Square. Oh dear, what a shame. Trafalgar Square is full of puddles. But we love puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a seat. Your Majesty. It does look rather fun. And one is wearing one's boots. Whee! <laughs> the Queen loves jumping in London puddles. Everybody loves jumping in London puddles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your turn to say.
surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Aw, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! What's that? Wave! Wave! wave, 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 wave. wave. <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> Cooey! <laughs> George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> Natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I loved surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. Mm, OK. Well, I suppose that might be great. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Whoa! That looks like quite a drop. Yes, it's wonderfully deep. I'll show you. See how long it takes this rock to hit the bottom. Wow! So, how do we get across? Did you hear anything about a ride of doom? Molly Mole said the ride of doom was the best bit. Uh, what exactly is this ride of doom? Nothing to be alarmed by. It's a zip wire ride over this chasm and down to the deepest part of the caves. Oh, goody! <laughs> it's really fun and, of course, completely safe. Wow! <laughs> uh, I'm not very good with heights. Is there another way to? Uh... See you on the other side. Wow! Wait for me. Isn't the craziest fun in the world? I don't know what is. <laughs> it was brilliant. Did you enjoy it, Daddy? Uh -huh. Yes. Here, at the deepest point of the caves, our tour comes to an end. Any questions? Uh, how do we get out? Oh, a good question. We take the lift. Here we are, back on the surface again. Ah, <sighs> daylight. Welcome to the gift shop. Look, there's a picture of us on the ride of doom. <laughs> Daddy, you look funny. That will help you remember the ride of doom forever. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pepper loves caves. Everyone loves caves. <laughs> Ah! Mr. Bull has found a bird's nest. Look at that! Little birdies nesting in your tree, Madam Gazelle. Please, can I see the birdies? OK, Peppa. We can watch from the windows. Ooh, lovely birdies. I think there's something else higher up the tree. Look what's here! Buzzy bees! <laughs> Let's see what else there is. I say, look at this! <gasps> it's an owl! Oh, I think I see something else! Onward and upward! Ah, ah! You've got bats, Madam Gazelle! Ah, my friends, the bats! They remind me of the old country! And what's this? Ah, 
Ah, my Christmas decorations! And a fairy! That is the fairy I put on the little tree all those years ago. It's a magnificent tree. A wonderful home to so many little animals. Yes, this tree should not be chopped down. Hooray! But wait, if the tree stays, what will happen to my house? Well, eventually it will fall over. But I need a house to live in. Oh. oh. Huh, I've got an idea. We'll put your house in the tree. Mr. Bull, the crane, please. Right you are! It's a tree house! <laughs> yes, it is wonderful. I have always wanted to live in a tree house. Thank you, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle loves tree houses. Everyone loves tree houses. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye. Uh, shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes. Let's do some numbers and letters. Pepper and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. Now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh! Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. There! That should do it. I am mended. Hooray! <laughs> My Grandpa is the best at mending things. Was it very hard to mend? Not at all. I found I had this book, How Computers Work. So you don't want us to take the computer away now? No, I need it for important work. For letter and number work? No, to beat Granny Pig's Happy Mrs Chicken score. I laid 4,020 eggs. Wow! So, I've got some work to do, catching up. <laughs> Gazelle, I feel a bit sick. Can I go to the front, please? OK, Pedro. You can go to the front of the train. <laughs> Do -da -dum -dum, da -de -da. Hey. Hello, Pedro. Not feeling very well. Would you like to drive the train for a bit? Yes, please. Children tick the signal box on their activity sheets. The signal has stopped the train so that someone important can cross. It's Mrs. Duck and her friends. <laughs> oh, we still haven't seen a tunnel. <gasps> hey, it's gone dark. We're in a <laughs> the tunnel is the last thing on the activity sheet. Hooray! <laughs> last stop! Wall change! Everybody off now! 
But, Madame Gazelle, how are we going to get home? Oh, Peppa, we are back where we started. The train has gone in a big circle. <coughs> Tickets, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pedro's lost his ticket again. Um... Pedro, can I have my hat back, please? There's Pedro's ticket. Oh, that's where I put it. <laughs> <laughs> George, Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And Nurse Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. It is a hospital. I'm the important doctor. Ooh, this dinosaur looks sick. I agree, Doctor. He's a very greeny ill colour. He must go to bed. And this dinosaur looks a very purpley ill colour. Yes, Doctor. He must go into bed too. Dinosaur! Shush! Quiet! In the hospital! Choo choo! <coughs> the bedroom is not a hospital anymore. Now it is a railway station. No, no, there aren't any trains in Fairyland. Oh, now the bedroom is Fairyland. Only pretty things are allowed in Fairyland. <laughs> What's all this crying about? George and Richard want to play dinosaurs and trains. And we want to play hospitals and fairies. Mm. I see the rain has stopped outside. So? So? Maybe you could all play outside. But they like little boys' games. And we like grown-up girls' games. But after it's been raining in the garden, what do you normally find? Muddy puddles! And what are muddy puddles for? Jumping up and down! Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles, whether they are big girls or little boys. I'm going to play the recorder. <gasps> and what is your talent, Rebecca? I can make a special noise. It only works if I go up on my tiptoes. That was very good. Yes, but what can I do? Candy, what is your talent? Skipping. I was going to do skipping, but I can still do dancing and singing. My talent is singing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I can still do dancing. Susie Sheep, what is your talent? Dancing. No, you can't dance. Oh dear, dancing was Peppa's last talent. It is so nice that everyone has chosen a different talent to perform. Now, who do we have left? Peppa! I was going to skip or sing or dance. But they've all been done. A talent can be anything, Peppa. But not watching television. <laughs> Think of something you really like to do. I know! I've got a talent that I'm really good at. I wonder what Peppa's talent can be. My special talent that I'm the best at in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Hound. Mummy Pig has won. Unbelievable. Here's your giant teddy. Hooray! I want a teddy like that one, Mummy. 
They're too big. No, they're not. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. Hold tight now. Oh, that really is high. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad that's over. Five times round for one pound. Five times round? Oh, no. Whoa! Test your strength on the old hammer and bell. What do we have to do? You hit this button with this hammer. If the bell rings, you win a prize. <laughs> no skill involved, but you need to be strong. I'll have a go. One pound. Bad luck. Ho, oh, oh, ho, I'm strong. I'll have a go. Stand back, everyone. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. You're not that fit. Oh, oh yes, Daddy Pig is looking a bit tubby. What? I'm just saying Daddy Pig is a bit round in the tummy. Give me that hammer. Goodness me. I've never seen anything like it. That wins all the giant teddies we have. Hooray! <coughs> Mummy, can we give these teddies to my friends? What a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Peppa. Peppa. Most kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 The beach is covered in snow. Oh. That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! love the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> <laughs> Grampy Rabbit is measuring the hole in Grandpa Pig's boat. Now I need to find something to patch it up. It must be good to know how to mend a boat. Oh, it takes years to learn how to mend a boat. How long have you been mending boats? Years. Grampy Rabbit has collected lots of scrap metal to mend boats with. Now this is a gold mine. It's a pile of rubbish. Ah, uh, but you can make things from piles of rubbish. Like what? Like submarines. Wow. Grampy Rabbit has made a submarine out of rubbish. Does it actually work? Watch this. It fills up with water, uh, so it's very good at going down, but not so good at coming back up. 
Now this is what I've been looking for. It's a washing machine. It's the fix for Grandpa Pig's boat, is what it is. You're going to mend my boots with a bit of washing machine? Yes. That's as good as new. Hooray! Now we test it. Prepare for launch. Hi. Amazing! It floats. You sound surprised. Yes, usually they sink on the first go. Now we can go for our day on the river. What a splendid idea. This is the life out on a boat with just the sea and the sky. I know a song about the sea and the sky. Uh, do you want to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. <laughs> <laughs> is in a blackberry bush. And she'll be there for a hundred years. Like Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> and she'll be rescued by a handsome prince who will give her a kiss. <laughs> my mummy is having an adventure. I wish my mummy would have adventures like that. Um, can someone think of a way to get me out of here? Don't worry, mummy. In a hundred years, a handsome prince will rescue you. I'll be that handsome prince. Grandpa Pig, may I borrow your pruning shears, please? Of course you may, brave Sir Daddy Pig. Stand back, everyone. Take that, you thorny bush, you. Yay! Oh, my prince. My princess. Mm -hmm. You were meant to stay in there for a hundred years. That was quite long enough, thank you. <laughs> Mummy is a black Berry bush. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this sort of thing only happened to me. Stand still while we pick you. <laughs> Let's take all this fruit back to Granny Pig. Granny, Granny, Mummy had an adventure. And then Mummy fell in the bush. She looked quite silly and she was going Help me! Help me! And then Daddy came and rescued her. The end. Thank you, Pepper. I think we've all heard that story enough times now. But it's funny. I never want to see another blackberry in my life. So you don't want any apple and blackberry crumble, then? Well... Mmm, delicious. Mummy Pig loves apple and blackberry crumble. Everyone loves apple and blackberry crumble. <laughs> Grandpa, what's that stick thing in the water? Ah, submarine! Action stations! Ahoy there! Hearties. It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing with just the sea and the sky. The stories I could tell. Uh, do you need any shopping? Oh, yes. Uh, cheese, please. Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh, dear. Polly has forgotten the list. Luckily, I remember what everyone wants. Cheese! Thank you, Pepper. You're a good one. Newspaper and comic. Thanks, Thanks Pepper. Pepper. It was lucky Pepper was going to the shops, or we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolates. Now we can have our dinner, Mummy. Pepper and George have arrived back home. It is their bedtime. 
It is morning. Uh. The water has gone, but left a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddle! <laughs> this is the biggest muddy puddle in the world ever! <laughs> Shopkeeper, can I have a loaf of bread, please? No, but you can have a toy house. Would you like it in a bag, sir? Yes, please. That will be one a penny, please. Oh, I haven't got enough money. You can pay us next time you come in. Gosh, this is hard work. Yes. Squeak. Hello, shopkeeper. What can I buy for a million thousand pounds, please? Susie, what have we got for a million thousand pounds? Hmm, a carrot? Yes, please. Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. <laughs> <laughs> it is home time. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to collect Pepper and Susie. Daddy, have you had a busy day? Yes. I've been working very hard. We've been working very hard too. We've been shopkeepers. Blah, 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 blah. The end. And print. Mummy Pig has finished her work. <laughs> OK, George. Perhaps we could just play one game of Happy Mrs Chicken. We've earned it. <laughs> Oh, that's because George and I have finished our work, haven't we, George? We've all finished our work, so let's all play! <laughs> How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! Fire! Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Mummy to the rescue! Whee! Whee! Hold tight. Whee! Whee! It's Miss Rabbit's fire engine. Yes! Stand back, Daddies! Mummy Dog, turn on the water. Aye, aye, Mummy Pig. The fire is out. Hooray! Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit. No problem. It's all part of the service. The, the Mummy's Fire Engine service. service. And now that Miss Rabbit has kindly flooded our garden, we can all jump up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! <laughs> I love fire engines, especially when they make muddy puddles. <laughs> These models are made of cardboard, but the real planets are made of rock and ice and gas. But of course the moon is made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, the moon is made of rock. And this is a serious tour, so no jokes and no giggling. Here we are, on the moon. It's a pretend moon, really, isn't it? Yes. 
If this was the real moon, you could jump over my head. Ooh. Does anyone know why we can jump so high on the moon? Gravity! Oh, that's right, Edmund. Gravity is what keeps us on the ground. It is weaker on the moon, so you can jump higher. Ooh. We can make you feel like you're jumping on the moon with the help of science. That sounds impressive. How do you do that? With big rubber bands. Everyone is strapped into Mr Rabbit's anti-gravity rubber bands. <laughs> Bouncing on the pretend moon is fun. Say moon cheese. Moon cheese. <laughs> And that is the end of the tour. Please walk this way. Are there trees on the moon? No. Are there any cars on the moon? No. Are there any moon shops? No. That would be silly. Welcome to the moon shop. We've got moon maps, moon books. We've even got a picture of piggies on the moon with an elephant. Look, there we are, jumping on the moon. We've got moon rock, too. It's got a picture of the moon all the way through the middle. Ooh! How about some real moon cheese? How much is it, Miss Rabbit? Five pounds, please. Five pounds? It's all for a good cause. I like the moon now because it's very interesting. Hmm. And very tasty. <laughs> 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 This button. Who's that? I wonder. Could it be Pedro? What do you want, Pedro? We are very busy. I've got a bit of an itch. Even if your leg is itching, we can't take the cast off until your leg is better. It's not my leg that's itching. It's my ear. <laughs> Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Lunch time. What would you like to eat today, Pedro? Can I have spaghetti and sponge pudding, please? You get your dinner in bed? Yes. Mmm, <laughs> that looks tasty. Dr Brown Bear has come to see how Pedro is doing. How are we today, Pedro? My ear is a bit itchy. Just here. <laughs> Hmm, I'd say you're almost better. <laughs> Visiting time is over. Bye, Pedro. Bye, everyone. Get well soon, Pedro. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> it is another school day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the playground. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, my plaster has fallen off. Can I have another one? You don't need a plaster, Peppa. Your knee is better. Oh, yes. <laughs> hello, everyone. Pedro Pony is back. Oh, hello, Pedro. Where's your plaster cast? They took it off because my leg is better. Is your leg strong now? It's stronger than it was before. It's a super leg. Can you run on it? Watch this. Nay. <laughs> Pedro likes running around having fun. Everybody likes running around having fun. Keep in time. Madam Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. Or the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now, we will learn how to play our instruments together. Meow. The parents have come to pick up the children. You're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra? Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. 
Madame Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. Not a giant. The shadow is being made by a cloud. Wow! What sort of cloud is it? Um, it's a big cloud. It's called a stratocumulus. Yes. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Look, our shadows are getting longer. Ooh! That's because the sun is getting lower in the sky. It's nearly night time. My shadow has gone. Yes, Emily. When the sun sets, the shadows go away. Peppa, George, bedtime. OK, Daddy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. It is bedtime. I'm a bit sad that my shadow's gone away. Don't be sad, Peppa. The electric light can make shadows. And we can make shadow puppets. Mummy Pig is using her hands to make a shadow puppet. It's a birdie! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it sing. Tweet, tweet, I'm a little birdie. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Pepper has made a spider. My name is Mr Skinny Legs. Oh, scary. <laughs> George is making a shadow puppet. What's that? George. Dinosaur. Brrr. George has made a dinosaur. <laughs> That's really scary. Very good, George. <laughs> Time to switch the lights out. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Good night, Shadows. Good night, Shadows. <laughs> In case we get hungry later. Oh dear, Grampy Rabbit has eaten all the food. What a terrible place to be stuck. Is anyone else missing cheese? We've only been here five minutes, Grampy Rabbit. I'm going to put a mark in the sand for every time I think about cheese. We need to call for help. Call for help? What an excellent idea! Grampy Rabbit is very good at shouting. What was that? That was the call of the sea. Someone is in trouble. What can we do? We'll rescue them. We can use Grandad Dog's boat. Wait a minute. I said I'd never get on a boat again. But, Daddy, they need rescuing. You're right. Just this once. I shall sail again. Life jackets on. Oh, oh Captain, Captain Dog. Full sail. All our food is gone. There's nothing left to eat. There must be something to eat. Ahoy there. Captain Dog has rescued the Grandads. Land ahoy! Everyone off the boat. Farewell, everybody. See you in a few weeks. Daddy, where are you going? Me? I was just thinking of sailing around the world again. But, Daddy, you're not a sailor anymore. No, of course not. Leave the sailing to us, Captain Dog. Yes, 
And when they get lost again, you can rescue them. <laughs> 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 We were just closing, but I can give you a quick tour. This is the king and queen's room, full of old stuff. Ooh. Hmm, interesting. Here are the giant dinosaurs, all very nice. Ah, amazing. Space, rockets and all that. Wow. And through this door is the most amazing place of all. It's the fantastic world you live in. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. My pleasure. Goodbye. Right. Time to go, children. Where is Pedro? Oh, Pedro. A mollusk. Very interesting. Come on, Pedro, or you'll miss the bus. Where is everybody? The bus has gone. Uh, don't worry. Miss Rabbit will realise she's left us behind. Bong, bing, boo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo! All together now! Bong, bing, Nobody has noticed bing, Madame bing, Gazelle and Pedro are missing. Bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo! Oh, have you missed the bus? Mr Rabbit, I am a teacher. I need your car. <laughs> We'll take a shortcut. <laughs> Hello, Dot. <laughs> Madame Gazelle and Pedro have arrived back at the playgroup. Where is the bus? Maybe we're early. Yes, Pedro. For once, you are early. Wow. Pedro is early. Yes. And you're late. You slow coaches. <laughs> Pedro likes being early. <laughs> Everybody likes being early. <laughs> oh. George has let go of his balloon again. Don't worry, George. It won't fly away because the roof is in the way. Oh, it's gone through the door. It's going up the stairs. It's going into the attic. Don't worry. There's only one way out of the attic, and that is through the roof window, which is always kept closed. Oh, dear. The roof window is not closed. Catch it, Grandpa! I can't, Pepper. It's in the sky. George, your balloon is going to the moon. You'll never see it again. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to take Pepper and George home. Hello. Have you had a lovely time? <laughs> um, we bought George a dinosaur <laughs> balloon. But George let it go and it's flying to the moon. There must be some way we can get it back. Oh, balloon! Look! Polly Parrot is flying after the balloon. Polly Parrot to the rescue. Go, Polly, go! Polly Parrot has rescued George's balloon. Hooray! Who's a clever Polly? <coughs> Who's a clever Polly? <coughs> <laughs> George, don't let go of your balloon again. I know. We'll tie the string to your wrist, George. What a good idea. <laughs> George loves his dinosaur balloon. Everyone loves George's dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Maybe the detective should ask George some simple questions. George, where's Mr. Dinosaur? George does not know where Mr. Dinosaur is. The detective could try and guess where Mr. Dinosaur might be. I know. I know where he is. <laughs> George always has Mr. Dinosaur with him in the bath. So Mr. Dinosaur is in the bath. Mr. Dinosaur is not in the bath. Oh. 
I know. I know where Mr. Dinosaur is. <laughs> George always has Mr. Dinosaur in his bed at night. <coughs> See, that's where he is. Mr. Dinosaur is not in George's bed. Oh. Maybe we should try the garden. Yes, the garden! <coughs> I was going to say that. Where is Mr. Dinosaur? Mr. Dinosaur is very hard to find. Oh, Mr. Dinosaur isn't anywhere. George, you do love to throw Mr. Dinosaur in the air. I wonder if this time you threw Mr. Dinosaur just a bit too high. There he is! There he is! I saw him first! <coughs> well done, Pepper. You really are a very good detective. <laughs> I'm sure. George is so happy Wee. to have Mr. Dinosaur back again. Wee. <laughs> Maybe it isn't a good idea to play with dinosaurs near trees. <laughs> 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 George, I'm not going to sleep. Let's both stay awake all night and see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> this Tooth Fairy is very late. Oh. The Tooth Fairy is taking a long time to arrive. Where is that Tooth Fairy? What is that noise? Is it the Tooth Fairy? George, can you hear something? Oh, George. Oh, the noise is George. He was so tired he has fallen asleep. George is not very good at staying awake, but I am. I'm going to stay awake and see the Tooth Fairy. I'm not going to sleep. The Tooth Fairy has arrived. But Pepper is asleep. Hello, Pepper. Would you like this coin in return for your tooth? What a nice clean tooth. Thank you, Pepper. Good night. Pepper, George, wake up. It's morning. <gasps> what? Uh, I wasn't asleep. Did the Tooth Fairy come? No. Let's take a look under your pillow. Oh, look, Pepper. The Tooth Fairy has been and she's left you a coin. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you fell asleep, didn't you? Well, maybe I fell asleep just for a little bit. <laughs> Next time, I will stay awake and I will see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> oh dear, George is scared of his own reflection. Oh, silly George. <laughs> Look, it's you in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Children, it's time to decide who has the best fancy dress costume. We need a judge. Me, me. <laughs> As it's Peppa's party, maybe she should be the judge. I'm the judge. I'm the judge. Daddy, what is a judge? The judge decides who has the best costume. Oh, goody. Pepper is going to choose who has the best costume. Susie, can I see your costume, please? <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. I make people better. Very good, Nurse Susie. <coughs> now, Danny. I'm a parrot. Shovel me timbers. <laughs> now, Candy. Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Well, I'm a fairy princess and I can turn you into a frog. <coughs> Children, children. Sorry, Mummy. Who's next? I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. And Rebecca? 
I'm a carrot. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and my little brother George is a scary dinosaur. Grrr. Everyone's costume is very good. Hooray! <laughs> now you say who the winner is. Oh, yes. <clears throat> and the winner is... me. <gasps> Peppa, you can't pick yourself. You're the judge. Oh, can't I? You have to pick another winner. OK. The carrot wins. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you. <laughs> Peppa loves fancy dress parties. Everyone loves fancy dress parties. <laughs> Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. Daddy Pig is pushing Baby Alexander around the house. Fifty times. Good. Baby Alexander is asleep. Can you let me back in? I'll just switch the alarm off. Switch the alarm back on. Peppa, what are you doing up? I can't sleep, Daddy. It's a noisy night. OK, Peppa. Let's get you back to bed. Now, which bedroom are you staying in? Stop, Daddy. That's baby Alexander's room. Ah. <coughs> the light has woken baby Alexander. It's all right. I've got the vacuum cleaner. I've got the trumpet. Stop. Stop! I remember another quiet way we used to get George to sleep. Oh, yes! We drove him around in the car. I'll get the car started. Don't forget the alarm! Daddy Pig has set off the noisy house alarm. The noisy house has woken everyone up. It's Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Alexander to sleep. He's really fast asleep now. Oh, thanks to my noisy daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. We should have you to stay more often. <laughs> I'll race you. And 
to me. And me. I want to race too. Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car. Don't worry, Peppa. You can be the chief mechanic. What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <laughs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? <laughs> Steady? <laughs> go! Yeah. And they're off. Yeah. Come, Come on, George! George. Yeah. That's the end of lap yeah. one, and George is yeah. in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. Yeah. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car. Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Put the wheel back on. OK, okay chief mechanic. mechanic. Yeah. Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Pedal faster, George! Come on, George! Come on, George! George is the winner! Hooray! Well done, George. You're the best racing driver in the whole world. <laughs> and you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too. Yes, that's me. <laughs> 